Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather. We've got some major snow totals for the west all the way through 12-6. This is a really nice looking storm cycle. Three storm combo is going to ride a powerful jet in here through 12-6. Uh, major accumulation, like I said. There are a lot of really good forcing mechanisms. I'll cover those coming up. Um, there's even a weak atmospheric river set up for California, and that's where California will get most the lion's share of its accumulation um, through 12.6. All right, let me just show you the setup here. So this is infrared satellite. It's a crowded scene out here in the Pacific. Uh, the leader of the pack, that low, moving into the uh, Intermountain Rockies, will largely miss California. This is not the one that will nail California. It's the one be storm behind it. Um, but this one will set the stage and deliver a lot of cold air. Uh, to the uh, we've already had a foot of snow overnight in Jackson Hole. This is just storm one. There's more to go. There are going to be some really big grand totals once all this is uh, once the dust settles on 12 6, 12 7, 12 8, somewhere in there. Um, notice the lows lined up. The southern branch is also going to be involved, which will play into all of this. So I wrote about it just now. Publish this chrystomer.com. Please subscribe if you haven't. Um, all you have to do is go to the end of the post where it says. Um, email address, put your email address, and then just click subscribe, and you'll get a confirmation, and you'll get an update. It'll let you know in your email box every time there's an, a new post, which is pretty much every day. So I talked a lot about this. Some of the, the forcing things that we look for with really good mountain meteorology, uh, aura graphics, obviously, you've got to have the right flow, the right velocity, given the mountain range. Um, colder air can push higher ratios. We'll see that. We're going to have a weak atmospheric river set up. There's going to have, uh, there, there will be southern branch. I showed you the southern branch of the jet. The subtropical branch will feed moisture into California. Some of the big, the grand totals by 12.6 will obviously be in feet, several feet in some places. Here's Jackson Hole this morning. I talked about the setup. Let's look at the pattern. Um, so I've got the high res versions of these in here. Here's the uh, forecast of the jet by 11 p.m. today. So you can see the nice dip um, carrying our storm system through the Intermountain West. Again, it just brushes the Sierra, there may be an inch. This one's not the, the one that will nail those areas, but this one will bring in colder air. Um, this will have great snow through parts of uh, Wyoming, Utah, Colorado, Idaho, parts of Montana. But again, it's just the first of what's going to be uh, what will be three different storm systems. Way down the road here, 12 6. Yesterday, the jet was a little further south than this. Today, it's a little further north, or there's a little more amplification off the west coast, which means this will favor more so Pacific Northwest, B.C., Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Utah, Colorado, than anybody else. So that leaves storm number two is that as the one that will primarily hammer California. You know, we need to talk about timing here, so let's go back to the blog post. And I went into timing. I've got this also set up. So future radar satellite, um, here's 6 a.m. on Tuesday, snow moving through Colorado. Here comes storm three in the Pacific North, storm two, excuse me, in the Pacific. Here it comes, it nails California between Thursday and Friday and moves through the interior. Here comes storm three, there it is, into the Pacific Northwest, just starts to drop down late on 12-3. Let me show you the animation again. So there's the 6 a.m. Tuesday, there's 6 a.m. Wednesday. Here is 6 a.m. Thursday, and uh, there's Friday. There's uh, Saturday morning and Saturday night. So that'll, uh, that'll do it. All right, let's look at totals, and let's do it in phases here. I've got uh, phase one for the west. This is uh, the 28th, all of today through the 30th. Um, so uh, it's sort of a west-northwest orientation with that dip in the jet, kind of missing California. It's a couple of inches out there, but the big numbers are running. And you know what? What's interesting is Schweitzer is one of the places I think will have some of the biggest totals um, over the next seven, eight, nine days. Um, there will be plenty of others, but th that just stands out to me when I, when I see the 13 there. I mean, you've got another foot in the Tetons, 15 on the way for Alta. Um, the central and northern mountains of Colorado, I really like the way things are playing out for the central and north. This will probably be the biggest snow of the season so far for the central and northern mountains of Colorado. Most resorts are going to get a foot. 
There'll be areas up around Steamboat, Buffalo Pass, Cameron Pass, and Longs Peak that get probably 15, 16, 17, 18 inches of snow out of this. Crested Butte has a nice flow. Um, we'll see if we can if we can get that amount of snow in there over the top of the Elks with this type of jet orientation. But the number should be high. I don't know if it'll be 15, but it'll be close. All right, so let's see what phase two looks like here. So this is 12-1 through 12-6, capturing Storm 2 and most of 3. That's why the numbers are so big. I mean, you're kind of looking at a combination here. California. Okay, so most of that snow comes with Storm number 2. And again, there's some weak atmospheric river involvement, so there's going to be like a fire hose of moisture into those areas, looking at about uh, 3 feet for Heavenly and Mammoth. More in Shasta because you're really starting to get the effects of maybe even a fourth storm very late in the period. Um, and that goes for the Pacific Northwest, that, why those numbers are so big as well. But nonetheless, again, we're talking feet of snow in the end of the day. Um, Schweitzer, you, you do another two to three feet on top of the, the foot in the first period. Um, Brundage looks good. I mean, this is probably going to be the best stretch for Sun Valley we've seen in a while. Um, and look at uh, the Tetons, another two to three feet there, another two feet in Alta. I mean, you're going to be... You know, when you look at the grand total, um, and maybe I'll do this map later today with an update or tomorrow, through the entire period, the 28th through like the 6th, I mean, you're looking at three feet of total snow in Little Cottonwood Canyon, three feet, um, maybe more. I mean, the potential's there for more, um, but certainly three feet. I mean, three feet or more in the Tetons, um, two feet, three feet, you know, Seems to be a pretty common number through Idaho as well and the Pacific Northwest. I mean, Red Mountain, Fernie, Schweitzer, Whitefish, all in that pocket. A really nice flow. So this is a great uh, great pattern. Here's the northeast. I just don't have much with just kind of a bad track on these storms. Too far to the north, too much warm air, too much rain initially with these storms riding through. But there'll be some snow on the backside, just not big totals. All right, so there you go. This is going to be a good one. Get the skis and the boards waxed up and ready to go. And thank you for tuning in here. Appreciate it.